I say to you, the silk handkerchief was embroidered in China or Japan behind the steel curtain, and now one can cross the borderline without proper credentials. This is to say that we are all sensate and occasionally sad. And if every partner in crime were to incorporate promises in his program, the land might end, and all our friends would follow another program. Who are our friends? I know you love me to talk this way. Are they sullen and slow? Do they have great desire, or are they one of the multitude who walk, doubting their impossible regret? Certainly, things happen and reoccur in continuous promise. All of us have found a safe niche where we can store up riches and talk to our fellows on the same premise of disaster. But this will not do. No, this will never do. There are continents and shores which beseech our understanding. Seldom have we been so slow. Seldom have we been so far. My only wish is to see far Arden again. And this next part will be done in a woman's voice. The truth is on his chest. The cellular excitement has totally inspired our magic veteran. And now for an old trip. I'm tired. Of the night. Want the old forms to reassert their sexual pull. My friend is just, you know. And this morning, before I sign off, I would like to tell you about Texas radio and the big beat. It moves into the perimeter of your sacred, sincere, and dedicated smile, like a calm veteran of the psychic war. He was no general, for he was not old. He was no private, for he could not be sold. He was only a man, and his dedication extended to the last degree. Poor pretentious soldier, come home. 